Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server avatar. If you're joining me for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these tutorials every week. If you have a suggestion of one you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that jumbles below. I'll give you a shout out when I get around to it. And if you find this video helpful, please leave a like for helping because that helps me out for helping you guys out. So basically, let's say you just got into Minecraft and you want to create a server so for some friends to play on, but you don't want just the vanilla, you want to add some plugins, some modifications, some mods to the, to the gameplay, like an economy or some sort of world protection. What you can do here is you need to download a bucket or spigot in order to allow for that to happen. Let's jump over. I'm going to tell you guys how to set up a server. First thing you want to do is download bucket or spigot dot jar now you can download the example server in the jibbles below the download will be available and then you can just up and run otherwise i have another tutorial over here over here that you can then review and check to see how to get the most updated jar file for spigot or bucket and what you want to do you can't just run the jar file you need to run a bat file which runs against the jar file and the way that this works as we're gonna go ahead and open this up. So the way this works is uh, it calls the Java, set some parameters in here. You can pretty much leave those the way it is. And then it calls the jar. So you wanna make sure that is the right name. So we're gonna go ahead and update that and save it here. Now you can download all this. You can download the example and just the shell of a server here so you guys can get up and going. It is in the jibbles below, but here we go. Let's go ahead and check out how this works. So what we wanna do is we just wanna double click on this bad file to get the server started. And you'll see that it'll start loading a bunch of stuff in here and then it will stop. So what it does is you need to then start up your, you need to open the EULA and you need to set this EULA to true and then we'll save it. And then we're gonna restart the server. Once again, it is going to fire up and it's gonna be loading a bunch of stuff. So we just wanna wait for it to finish. You just gotta sit and wait. Once it says done, then it is done loading. So what you can see, you got a whole lot of options in here. You can modify the ops for your server, who has operator access. Otherwise you can go into the, the console and just op your username. So once you join, you're already opt. Now, the big key about this is you have multiple worlds in here. You have your world, world nether, world end. The world in player data, this is where your players will save their inventories. Is all the information saved in there. You have logs. This is where if you run into any problems, you can review past logs of your server and see any errors in there. And then if you're running any plugins, you drop those jar files in this plugin folder and then restart your server. And then it will load the folder for that plugin. If you run into any problems where that folder is not being loaded or showing up, it means you're, you have some errors. Check your console at start and your server logs for any errors. Most likely 95% of the time, it's you're not running the correct version of Minecraft that works with that version. You can always just type in version in your, your console or in game, and then you can see what version you're running. So make sure you're running the correct version for the correct version of plugin that you're running. So now let's connect to the server real quick. So you're going to log in, you're going to go to multiplayer, and then we're just going to do direct connect and we're going to do local host. Now, if you want to share your server for your friends to join, there's a couple things you need to do. One, you need to set up port forwarding on your server it's, or on your router at your house. So basically what that is, is like, think of like an apartment complex Mail's coming in and it goes to the post box on that mail, the center of that apartment building, and then that's your router. And then you need to set the address for each of those incoming mail. So incoming mail comes in on a port 25565 for Minecraft, and then you have to set your router to go, okay, I need it to go to this location that would be your home computer. So you need to figure out your internal IP address, which um, just do a quick Google search. Your internal IP address is going to be like 192.168. something, and then uh, you need to figure out your external IP address, and then that's the IP address address that your friends are going to use to connect. So you want to go to Google.com, just type in what is my IP, and it'll tell you your external IP address. So that's what you give to your friends, and then that's what they put in here in order to connect. And then you have to be sure to put your route, set your routing up in uh, correctly. Be sure to just you could just Google. 
port forwarding, and then your router model, and then you'll be able to do that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and join here. It's gonna log in, and it's just gonna be a random seed that is set up. Now you can modify uh, some basic parameters in your server.properties file that's found. You saw that earlier. We can, you can then modify uh, spawn protection distance. Usually you want to set that to zero. You can modify the seed that it works. If you want to change the default world, all that stuff. And then that is how you set up a basic Minecraft server. After that, it's pretty much up to you to figure out which plugins you want to run. A um, couple things. The next thing that you should set up is your permissions plugin. That would be I would suggest PEX. I have a whole server playlist on how to how to run all these different plugins. So hopefully that helps you out and get started. And hopefully this got, got you started and up and going. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please leave a like if you found this video helpful. This is Kaz reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless.